Right, so now that is complete, now to move on to this one. And this is the infrared beam which transmits from here. It's all powered up and it shines up to here. And so what I need to do is I need to get that precisely lined up with the receiver here. Now, the way I did that before is I have an old video camera here. And if I put that on a tripod and hold the screen out, then I will be able to see the infrared. This is an old thing. Now, if I were to shine that directly into the transmitter, should. If it stays on for long enough. God dear, trying to hold two cameras at once. Right, there we go. Oh, get rid of that damn menu. Right. If you hold it at the right angle, you can see the beam. There we go, there it is. Left a bit, left right a bit. There we are. And you can actually see that LED now that's inside the transmitter. So what I want to do is I want to put my uh, Video 8 camera at the top, zoom it into that point, and when it's at the right angle, I'll be able to see it. So that's what I'm going to use as, a, as an alignment tool. I hope you guys can hear this because it's windy out here, and I've got so like a direct line of sight. So if I were to hold up this glue stick, <laughs> which I only use on my glue gun, um, where is it, it's around there, then that's kind of like line of sight as best as I can. So next I need to try and zoom that in to the exact point where the transmitter is transmitting from. So let's see if I can get around the back without the damn camera turning off again. Ah, right, this needs two hands, and I can see that I'm going to get annoyed with this by the time I finish doing it. And there we have it. And what I've done now is I've put it in night shot, which means that it's going to hopefully glow white when it sees the beam. It's a bit more sensitive than what it was in color mode. You know, there are some pretty cool features on this camera. You know what it's got? It's even got digital zoom. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Alright, so, I've digital zoomed it into the transmitter. So I can see if it is. There is, you can move this around down here and at the top you can get a pretty good idea of if it's aiming directly at the unit or not. There we go. See that? So that up there, that's perfect, that's where it's got to be. And Che is waiting for me to play Minecraft and I'm outside. <laughs> Lining this damn beam up in the cold. I think I'm going to do it now. Now, when I've got it in the right position, what I need to do is uh, give it a dab of glue, wait for it to dry, and that'll hold it in the position enough for me to mount it permanently. Right, so that, if you can see that, that, that is zoomed right in using the digital zoom function. What I've done is I'll put a nail in, roughly in the right place so it's got to go, so I'll bang that all the way in once it's in the right position. 
I'm uh, also going to put some glue on that if it needs it. There you can see the uh, this camera can see it. Look, there's the beam. There's the unit. Beam. It's, oh, it's difficult to get this right, but you can probably see that you can see the LED of the transmitter now. So, in theory, if that's aimed in the right position, when I remove the video camera out of the way of the receiver, it should receive the beam, and those two LEDs should come on underneath. So moment of truth. I'm going to move the camera away and yay it works! That's the beam lined up. Break the beam, make the beam. And I haven't actually used any glue on this one because actually it would be easy if I show you from the other side. Because all I've done is, is I've just put the nails in and I've got roughly the right angle and I just put the nails in and that holds it pretty solid in the right position. Alright, I have to get this in exactly the right place and I'm going to glue it. So I think the right place is about there. Right, that's it. So I'm just going to get some glue behind that to mount it in its final position. So there's a splodge in there. Now this is not liquid, I've let it sort of get a bit cooler so that it doesn't sort of run down and go around, us, go around the sides, it just as soon as it touches the cold plastic and the wood it kind of like sets immediately. So that's going to make the exact angle. Job done. So It left with two um, messages. One is the gate is open. That's because I've not done that yet. And the other message is we've had an alarm activation and it will show along here every 90 seconds what that is, but I'm not really interested in, in that at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the one in the kitchen now. And this display, I shall um, now change it so it displays what's happening when I make something happen, like opening the kitchen door. Opens. Right, so that little marker at the top is the reason it's in this display mode. It means the kitchen door was opened. If someone come in the driveway, it'll be a little indicator above there. But all we've got left now is just a gate and that's flashing there because it thinks the gate's still open and that's what I've uh, got left to complete. Um, the medium ray beam, this, that's not there anymore because that's cleared and the little symbol that indicates the driveway entrance PIR is activated and that has now gone because that is clear. So that's all working at the moment. Um, that's it for the update and I shall um, do another recording when I get around to doing the gate and also the cat sprinkler. That's not working yet. <laughs>